Good afternoon, and welcome to Our Lady Star of the Sea. Today we celebrate the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ on this 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand and join in singing our opening hymn, song number 36 in your missalette. Come, ye thankful people, come, song number 36.
Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day, I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. by the mercies of God, 
to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Passion, 
to the crucifixion, but he hides. And then we see something else. He waits for Jesus in the upper room, even though he is ashamed by his betrayal. And if you think about this, the first thing that's important is Peter is not put off by his failure to understand. He listens to Jesus and gets behind him. And even though along the way he fails again and again, he has the faith, the faith in the risen Lord, that he can follow him and be forgiven. The faith to know that mercy of God. And if I think about this, I would just say, uh, may the church that Peter once had led, despite all of those failings, and if you think about all of the harrowing, all of the failures in the history of the church, the abuse that was committed that we know about, and all of these things together, would that we have the faith to follow Jesus, to deny ourselves, to pick up the cross and embrace that redeeming love that is not just for you and me, it's for all people, it's offered to everyone. And that includes forgiveness. To have the faith to embrace that and embrace what it means to follow Christ. St. Paul was a reluctant follower of Christ, as you know. He was persecuting the church and it's his experience of that risen Lord that turns his life around, where he, as Peter does, is able to give his very life, to lay down his life in witnessing to the love of God poured out for us in Jesus Christ. And so in that second reading today, it's very brief, but it's very powerful. I urge you, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. In this reading today, the, the first sentence which I just read to you, there is a word that is cut out. It's in the Bible, but it doesn't appear in our lectionary. And, and, and that word is a very important word. It's the word, therefore. Therefore, I urge you to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. And what's important about that word is because what it's dependent on, this urging to offer our lives as living sacrifices. It's dependent on what Jesus has, or what Paul has written about Jesus in the first 11 chapters. It's all about the redemptive act of God that is poured out in Jesus Christ, not just for the Israelites, but for Gentiles as well. And how profound that is. And so relying on the Jewish tradition of worship, He's speaking about your spiritual worship is offering your bodies. In the tradition of the chapel, it was offering dead animals and making holocausts of their bodies. But he's urging believers to offer our own bodies as a living sacrifice pleasing to God. Now when he talks about this, Paul is writing that the best offering to God is not a dead animal, but your own living one. And it's not about a suicidal immolation, but in the very living of our lives is that offering of a sacrifice. The rest of the letter spells out what that means to make of ourselves a living sacrifice. And that can be summed up in saying that it's about building up the body of Christ the church, by using our gifts in mutual service to one another, offering hospitality, prayer, and love of enemies. So do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind and the renewal of your heart, that you may discern the will of God, of what is good pleasing and perfect.
please stand. And, and once again, we're professing our faith in this very short form. I ask you, do you believe everything that's contained in the Nicene Creed? We seek God's love and understanding as we humbly offer our prayers of supplication. For the church, that it serves as a model leading us to take up Christ's cause, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the world's policymakers, that they approach their mission with mindfulness of the need for global peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For students and teachers during these trying times of social distancing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who are suffering the aftermath of disasters, especially Hurricane Laura, and for all fighting the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who find it hard to trust their neighbors, and for all who find it hard to accept those who are different from ourselves, let us pray to the Lord. 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 For all of us gathered here today, that the Eucharist may nourish us to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may receive the reward of eternal life, especially Lewis Murphy and Anthony Arena. May they be admitted to the company of the saints, and may those who mourn their loss be comforted. Let us pray to the Lord. 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 For all the needs we hold close to our hearts, and all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God, it is beyond our ability to fathom your infinite kindness. Hear these prayers that we earnestly offer in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. As we prepare the table of the Lord, please join in singing, Blessed Are They. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of, our, of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Jesus the Christ. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's make a gesture of peace toward those who are near us.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. There are no real new announcements. It's the usual to be safe. Um, and please, when you just exit, don't congregate in the back of the church or in the parking lot. And uh, I think the best thing we can do is to keep one another safe uh, by our own practices and, and to be mindful of those who you know might be lonely and, and uh, get a phone call or a note or something like that. Because there are a lot of folks in our parish, as you know, who are really homebound uh, in a serious way. And to pray for those who are in nursing homes nearby as well. And I think that that is living the charity of the church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us and keep us this night and bring us to our beds in peace, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us walk this week in the light and in the love of Christ Jesus. Thanks, Thanks God. God. As we go to serve the Lord, please join in singing our new hymn, Tell the Good News, song number 46 in your missile Tell the Good News, song number 46. Mm -hmm. 